Hi, it's Simon here from Patchpool again. Let's have a look at Falcon's effect rack. Uh, in Mach 5 we were only able to run filters in serial, but in Falcon it's now possible to uh, run filters in parallel or other effects if you insert an effect rack on key group level. So here we have an example where I set up three filters in the effect rack. I will show you in a minute how to do it step by step. So here is the macros, here is the effect rack, chain 1, chain 2, chain 3, and each chain has a different filter. So here in effects you will see what's happening. Here we have a bi-quad and a drive. This is assigned here to a macro. This is an expander filter, like a hybrid filter. Peak, notch and stuff. And here we have a vowel filter combined with a wave shaper. So I've assigned these oops, didn't want that. These sliders, meaning the volume sliders, to individual macros. So chain one, the volume is here. Chain two. Filter two, you see it changes down there. And filter 3. Now, if you go to the main page, so now we only listen to filter 1. different step modulator assigned, so you have plenty of modulation going on. And the third one is a vowel filter. See the formant here has a different bipolar step sequencer. So you get the idea. Now let's start a patch from scratch to just learn how this can be set up. So let's go to places, templates. Let's start with whatever. Yeah. Wave shape. No, we want. Um, let's just take a normal analog. Set it to three un no three uni unison voices and yes stereo bit of detune so for some more movement let's assign from the start an LFO to PVM so we have some. Tempo sync movement happening. Okay, key group. Right click on key group. Add FX, Miss Angeles. Effect rack. Let's use a default. Effect rack. So, chain one. Let's add FX, let's add a filter, let's just use, yeah, whatever, analog filter, 
add another chain and let's use another filter let's use an expander here maybe and uh, here we can then select let's use a high pass whatever high pass 4 and another chain right click add fx chain and here we want let's use something like ring modulation or whatever legacy ring modulation here so here's the ring modulator we can already assign the frequency to let's put it to linear key follow something like 0.25 mix is 200 okay now we can now we can also use LFOs to control the levels why not I showed you the macro thing but yeah maybe macros is better for now so right click add modulation program new macro let's label this filter one right click on chain two level add modulation program new macro filter two and the same here add modulation program new macro let's rm mix ring modulation mix as of course all these levels add up you will easily get into an overloaded signal so set them all to let's say minus five maximum so that if they all play together with all macros fully open you don't overdrive the, the signal too much or not at all because it doesn't make sense to always add limiters and stuff at the end of the chain because it, it will sound distorted and crap you just have to do it before the signal builds up too much okay now you see we have three macros here now let's edit the first one first chain effect okay it's a normal low pass and we want some tempo synced just a LFO random and hold tempo synced let's do something triplet based that'll do for now now the second filter the second filter we have the high pass so near now here we add a stepper step modulator add modulation key group new step envelope set that to tempo sync it's already set it to retrigger Let's set it to 18 and something faster, triplet based 16th notes. Now let's dial in something quick. Turn up the resonance. So just as a unipolar, of course you have to hear it, turn up filter 2, turn down filter 1. Mm. 
It's a bit nervous. <laughs> Let's do it. Slow triplets. <laughs> So filter one. As filter two has so much drive now, and the maximum level would be better to put to maybe minus ten, whatever. <laughs> And last but not least, we have the ring modulator. So let's check this. Turn everything down. Turn the ring modulation up. And now we can use another stepper. Why not? We got nah. We could use a multi envelope, but that takes a lot of time to edit. So. Quick and dirty step envelope. It's already synced. We re trigger it. We can set it to bipolar this time. Set it to 15, 5 times 3. And this, yeah, let's do, do a fast one here. Let's edit it. The am amplitude is too big. Because on top of the linear key follower modulation, we are adding now the stepper. I don't like the filter 2 thing. Let's change the whole filter type to something else. That's not combined with all pass. Maybe this. best patch in the world but you get the idea um, that's it for now bye